Today I'll show you how to build a solid wooden rack. Just like any of my projects that I build from scratch, I start with sketching my idea and visualize it through the jotting down some rough measurements. To get down to exact measurements, I transition my sketch to my computer. I measured first the clearance of my van and my car from the floor. I get an idea of the number of planks I use and the spacing. The first few planks should have a total height of 5 inches or less. In my sketch, a 6 inch spacing is ideal, making it easier to roll up the vehicle as well as giving enough clearance as it rolls up. With 6 planks, I get 9 inches in total height which gives me enough space underneath. Plus four with the roll guard for a total of 13 inches. I want my top to be spacious enough for the wheels of my van. And I think a 24 inch length looks ideal. So with six inches spacing and six planks, that brings my bottom plank to be 54 inches in length. Each of the plank are solid one piece, except for my second, fourth, and fifth planks. This is to save on materials and make the ramp a little bit lighter, although it will still be surprisingly heavy. For the second plank, I'll just cut a foot for the front and I'll use 2x4 to fill in the rest. And I'll do the same thing for the fourth plank. As for the fifth plank, I'll fill in two pieces of 2x4 across the rear end. For the materials, I'll use 2x12 as the main body, the length of which I will describe later. And my feeler and roll guards would be 2x4, a pack of 2.5 wood screw or two small packs or you can probably get the 5 pounder, and optionally wood glue. I bevel the tip of each plank at 45 degree angle to make it even easier for the vehicle to roll up. For the planks of my two ramps, which are 2x12, I need one piece of 16 feet and another of 12 feet. For the filler and roll guards, which are 2x4, I need 1 piece of 12 feet, 3 pieces of 8 feet. This is actually cheaper than a combo of 16 feet and 8 feet. For easy reference, I'll designate my bottom plank as P1 and the top plank would be P6. And the front piece would have a suffix of F, the back would have B and the inserts or the fillers would have I. These are the 2x4s and the roller roll guard would be RG. Here are my suggested pre-cuts that you can ask from the lumber store. I did mine so it's a lot easier to load in my car. So now I just need to cut them farther according to my measurement. Here are the tools and materials I need. I'm also going to use a countersink. So now let's do it. Let's build one ramp at a time. I'm gonna start from here. I want it beveled. I'm gonna cut here 45 degrees. <laughs> Useful guide. I made this myself. Square T. So I'm just gonna measure 13. So let's cut it. The guide, red light. Twenty-four. I forgot that I have this, so I cut it farther and labeled it so it's easier to follow on the video. Let's get to work. I'm gonna start with the bottom plank. Just gonna put some something in here so it's easier to lift. Since I'm using a glue. Let me clean this up. 
this is the back the front P2F P2 second plank glue will add strength it's optional so glue put it here on center center let's do this there you go one here Usually I drill first before this. Set to drill. putting it on the solid one plank six plank three are solid ones reserve the bottom later because we're gonna put the wheels there so here are the I raised it so it's easier for me to put the wheels on This 
this one, this one, this one is the number 10. This one is a tad smaller. If you install number 10 here, you won't be able to get it all the way tight. Probably 3 fourths. Um, maybe number 8. 224 pounds. For a 220 pound ramp, the wheels would help. Okay, I can stack it up like that and then to move. There you go. It's easier if I put some handle here. So for the weight and size, I'm gonna use a two inch screw. No need for two and a half. This is the wood that I found. I cut this into two. It's actually eight inches. Um, so two inches each. I put it on the uh, plank number. Number two is fine. Then I can use this. 